Okay, so before we go to other parts, uh, let's first preview how this looks in cycles and see if we still have this issue with the normals in cycles. So go to cycles. I can see the, uh, this look more more than uh, what we what we see in uh, EV. I think that is great. So for this part, we're going to look at how to bake uh, these textures. Uh, because you can see this node setup is really crazy. And uh, yeah, it re it yeah, it's really crazy. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. But uh, we can try baking this into one image uh, for, for the color and one image for the roughness and one image for the bump or bake out the normal and let's see how that looks. So for that, let's, um, uh, since we already have UVs set up, uh, what we can do, uh, we can create more UVs, a different sort of UVs, uh, because when it comes to baking, you, don't, you want to have some space between the different uh, UV islands. So let's again unwrap, I'm not sure why it changed to, okay, I think because I rotated this, so rotate 90 degrees. Or you can use Smart UV and uh, increase the island uh, weight, island margin, uh, to give you that spacing between the different islands. Uh, but uh, let me just unwrap. And since we don't have a lot of islands on this, I can just uh, have put the, the separation. And I think this is a the same island. So we don't have to worry about that. Now we have that we have that ready. Let's see how this looks. We can go to uh, sort of bake in Blender. Uh, bl there is no baking baking a system in Blender EV, so we need to use cycles for that. So I'll change to cycles and go back to the shader. I'll change back this to the preview. And uh, so we can go to the render settings here and uh, to the bottom, scroll to the bottom, you'll find all the things you can bake. So the first thing we want to bake is uh, the diffuse, which is the color. And uh, if you just want to, to bake color, you can disable everything else. Uh, that means that uh, you won't bake uh, the light from uh, the, the lighting uh, or indir indirect lighting. Uh, so your textures will not be affected by the light. So let's do that and see so to bake, you need to have an image or a texture you want to bake to. So we can add a shift A texture image and then create a new image. I'll call this color. Hit OK. And uh, then I can go to UV and I can also slide this down, divide this and change this to shading. So we can hit bake to preview uh, whatever we're baking here. Let me change this to the image we have. So color, we want to bake to and hit bake. So if you're just baking color, it takes very little time. But uh, if you add indirect lighting and direct lighting, uh, it will take more time than uh, than any other, than, uh, than just baking color. Uh, because you're also, it's like you're rendering out uh, the entire texture. So I'll pause this and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial.